For my subscribers that are understandably confused by the title of this video, my most popular videos were pillow reviews that I did back in 2021, and I still get comments all the time on those videos, and quite frankly I just wanted to make a little update for people because they've been asking for it. I probably won't make any other ones, so don't ask me. <laughs> Just a couple quick things though. Pillows are such a personal thing, so it's it's really hard to make a recommendation on them knowing that it's going to be different for everybody. So just take that with a grain of salt. If you're having any specific pain or anything like that, talk to your physician, talk to your physical therapist, whoever. Just I'm not going to answer any like medical health questions because I am not qualified to do so. And if you watch those old videos back, I have many other ones that I covered. I'm just going to talk about my favorites here, starting from least expensive to most expensive. Some of these are pricey. I'll go over what the prices are right now is at the time of recording. A lot of them are on sale for the holidays, which happy holidays, happy new year. But just so you understand the lens of where I'm coming from, I am a combo sleeper. I sleep in all three positions, mostly on my side and back, not so much on my stomach anymore. I used to be a strict stomach sleeper until I found out it's not necessarily the best for you. So I've been trying to not and I really don't that often anymore. Starting with this one here. This is the, I'm reading notes here, the Beckham Hotel Collection Down Alternative Pillow. It's on Amazon, $49 for a two pack. And it's just a down alternative pillow. I actually like this one more than I did when I first tried it out. I honestly think it's probably best for back sleepers. Um, I think it's way too thick for stomach sleepers. If you're a lighter weight side sleeper, you'll probably get away with this. I think it's decent enough to support you, so give it a shot if you want to. It's through Amazon, so you have the support from Amazon, the return policy of Amazon, so it's nice and effective. The one thing I don't like about this is that it sheds like crazy. Um, keep that in mind. And it's a cotton cover with a gel fiber polyester fill. Next up, I have it in a pillowcase, but this is the Brooklyn and down alternative pillow and it's normally 65 bucks i think they're on sale for 45 bucks right now it's a nice one it's really soft so it's probably best for stomach sleepers um, and back sleepers not so much side sleepers one year return policy two year total warranty so i think the one year return policy is great um, it does clump up a little bit after a while but you can toss it in the dryer and it usually makes it almost back to normal I don't really notice it if I'm sleeping on it, but yeah, I like that one. I have a lot more detail on my initial videos about them if you want to check those out. Just giving you the need to knows. Next, I actually don't have it here, so I'll show a picture because I gave it to my dad, but it's the Nola Air Fiber, Jesus. It's the Nola Air Fiber Pillow. It is also a down alternative pillow, but a couple different things about it. I think it's the most like fluffy and foldable because it has the most fill, so I think it's pretty decent in all positions. Um, if you're a heavier side sleeper, maybe not the best, but for me, it was pretty good in all positions just because you can kind of bunch it up to make it work for what you need. Out of all the fake down ones I tried, from what I remember, this was the most resistant to clumping and it has like a, a material on the outside. I forget what they call it, but it's like a cooling material. So it's actually like cool to the touch when you lay your head down on it. Um, it is only on one of the sides though. I wish it was on both, but if you're a hot sleeper, this might be good for you too. But that one is $69, 30 day return policy and a two year warranty. I did actually sleep on this one for quite a while. I just have some other ones that I like more. All right, next. And these start getting more expensive. So just a fair warning. I know these are expensive, but you know, you sleep on it every night. Whether it's worth it is up to you. So this is the Eli and Elm side sleeper pillow. And I too slept on this for quite a long time. It's um, a cotton cover and it's filled with mostly latex and some like poly fibers in there. And it's adjustable so you can take some out. They also sell like more of it so you can add more if you want to. And what I, the thing I liked least about it is that it's hard to get a pillowcase on it. The company does sell one, but the reviews on it were pretty terrible. Everybody says that it's like slippery and stuff. So, you know, I don't use it anymore. I use it kind of to like prop myself up if I'm in bed. But if you're strictly a side sleeper, honestly, even a back sleeper, I found it really comfortable in. I think you'll really enjoy this. Like its best feature and its worst feature to me is the boomerang shape, just cause it's perfect to have a slot for your shoulder in. And what I would do is I would kind of manipulate the fill so it was more on the edges. So that way I couldn't roll onto the sides and then I had the middle to sleep on my back. So that boomerang shape's really helpful for that. But then 
just that you can't really get a pillowcase on it is what I don't like. Pillow right now is $100. You get a 45 day return policy and a five year warranty, which is pretty cool. Next is from a company called Layla. This is their K-Pak pillow. It's filmed with like shredded memory foam and a fiber called K-Pak which I think comes from a tree from what I remember. It's a natural fiber. And I actually really like this one a lot. The outside cover is infused with copper, so it's supposed to help with cooling. I thought it was normal. I wouldn't say it was hot. I wouldn't say it was cool. They say it helps, so let's go with that. I think this one's really good for side and back sleepers. You can, I'll show you just how, like, that's a thick pillow. So you'd think it would be perfect for side sleeping because it's also soft. But what I found is that it did tend to like kind of collapse in over the night. So you'd have to keep fluffing it. So I stopped using it for that reason because I did actually use this for quite a while, but I just found it that it was annoying to that it would flatten out every night. So, but definitely still one of the better ones I tried. I think it's great for back sleeping as well. It is $109, 120 night trial and also a five year warranty. Next is probably the most unique and one of the two that I personally sleep with, and that is the Purple Harmony Pillow. If you can see, it has like their hex grid, their purple technology. It's like the bouncy stuff that makes purple purple on the outside cover. And the middle, it's a piece of ventilated uh, latex. So it's definitely the most unique feeling on here. Like I know some people don't like that they can feel the, um, like the hexes on their ears when they sleep on it but this one comes in three different sizes there's like the low medium and high um this one's here is the medium i personally sleep with the high um just because i like i used to use this one when i slept mostly on my stomach i think this one is great in all three positions honestly but being that i've been mostly on my side i decided to go for the higher profile which is perfect for mostly just on your side i think it's way too tall for even on your back. It's very bouncy, and but what I like about it is that it always keeps its shape. You don't have to fluff it or anything like that because it's like a solid piece of latex. It just keeps its shape all the time. This is probably also the most cooling that I've tried just because everything's like aerated and it's really good with airflow. You know, I, I'm not gonna say it stays cool, but it doesn't get hot. You know, it just stays a nice neutral temperature throughout the night, so. I really like this one. And that one, right now it's on sale. I think normally it's 175 bucks, but right now it's $134, 100 night trial, one year warranty. I just wanna emphasize one more time. I know these are expensive, that's not lost on me. To me, they're worth it. Uh, you know, I won't make that decision for you. So just saying. And last but not least, my personal favorite, this is the Sattva Latex Pillow. And I'll show you, it's also pretty unique. It's kind of a two-in-one design. So you have, you know, the outer part, it opens up and it's just like a polyfiber fill. Then on the inside, there's like another part which is shredded latex. It's not adjustable in the sense that you can like add or remove any filling. It's like in one kind of bag. You can definitely manipulate it around within the pillow. So to me, it's really good in all positions, but I sleep on my side and back mostly and it's perfect. But if I wanna, if I roll over to my stomach, I kind of just flatten out one side and the fill goes to the other and I can use that side to sleep on my stomach with to flatten it out. It's also fairly clump resistant. I had it for a very long time until it started like clumping up a bit. And even though you can feel it when you, you know, if I'm touching it with my hands like this, when you sleep on it, you don't notice it. And if you pop it in the dryer for a little bit, it smooths most of it out. Um, I've had this one the longest. The warranty period leaves a little bit to be desired. It's a 45 night trial and a one year warranty. I wish it was more given how expensive this is, but you know, my experience has been really positive with this. If you're not concerned about price, this is hands down the one I recommend the most just for my personal experience. This is my favorite one. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if I said it, it's 165 bucks. So I know it's expensive. And I'll end with just some like FAQs that I got from my other videos. Um, yes, I bought all these with my own money. Um, it started from me actually doing research for myself and I was a little frustrated with the research because every video or article that I found basically seemed like an ad <laughs> for the company. But then as I started looking into things, it, it it is hard to recommend these kind of things just because of how dependent it is on the person. Like no two people are gonna have the same experience on them. So I get it. And two, it was definitely, it was definitely a bit of a manic episode where I just went for it and got all of these. Um, I've made a video on my bipolar disorder if you wanna check it out. So yeah, I did buy all of them. I did get some affiliate income from them. So I used that money to buy some of them. So my own money slash some of it came from affiliate income, but very little. 
And question two is like, do I rotate through all of them? Not really. I mainly use the uh, the Purple Harmony and the Sattva. Um, I did rotate in the Nola one before I gave it to my dad and the Layla one for a little while. Everything else I still try to put to use because I don't want to be wasteful. The, the Eli and Elm one, like I said, I use like, you know, to prop myself up in bed. It's really comfortable for that. And everything else I have in like guest rooms and stuff like that, where I gave to family that isn't weirded out by you know, using my pillow. And some of them I return if I was able to. Just get, just I'll give you an update on the purple mattress that I have because I too made a video about that. Still really like it. I haven't had any issues with it. So nothing else to say about that. Watch the video if you want more on that. And last I've had, sorry, I'm screaming. <laughs> and last I've had a lot of people ask me to try other ones and I hate to let you down, but I probably am not going to just because I'm not going to be doing that for content just because this is probably going to be the last video I make about this. And second, I found ones that I'm happy with. You know, in the future, if I am no longer happy with my choice of pillows, I will explore that. But for right now, I'm very happy with what I have. So not, I don't see myself doing that. So again, I hope everyone had a happy holiday if you celebrate and that you have a happy new year coming up. I've learned my lesson before where I announced that I'm going to do things and then something happens where I don't end up doing it. So I'm not going to do that now, but just know I am working on a couple excited things that I putting out in the new year. So if that sounds good to you, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed and I hope to see you in my next video.